நேத்து கிளாஸ் நான் அப்லோட் பண்ணல அதுக்கு ஓகே <laughs> So, other say that doubt in the place, ask me. Now, only they raise pan it, then we'll see the next question. Is that doubt here? Come on, answer is on the it is your 484 ohms and 311 voltage RMS is equal to 0.45 amps. So, we'll see the next question. Next question, Papa. Just take this question 52, example 52. Example 52. So, you have to understand the circuits, so you have to understand and you have to draw the pictures. Figures draw up on a little easier. So, I'll read the question. So, question on the back. So, in the following, so in the following circuit, calculate the capacitance of, it, of the capacitor if the power factor of the circuit is unity. Power factor of the circuit, this is the answer. Like power factor of the circuit, cos phi is equal to unity. Remember, it is in phase. cos phi is equal to unit in a phi on the 90 degrees okay uh, phi 90 degrees is the phase phase difference based upon the number discuss part one minute we will see so first one and we are going to find the capacitance second one we are going to see the quality factor second one we are going to see the quality factor third one third one is your given the angular frequency angular frequency kuduthirukanga it is nothing but your omega angular frequency 100 per second calculate the average power dissipated in the circuit so we are going to find the average power dissipated in the circuit now i told you cos phi power factor cos phi is equal to 1 now it is nothing but your unity power factor so appo idoda relations of the inductor resistor capacitor idu series combination okay so inge vande 90 degrees delay 0 degrees apdi an solumbodhu remember one thing inge vande 90 degrees delay that is your delay irukumbodhu nalla parunga inge vande power factor vande 1 irukad so delay eduvume illadanaala that means cos phi power factor 1 irukumbodhu that is remember xl is equal to xc okay reason frequency condition la irukum appo the power factor 1 aagum so that means cos phi is equal to the value is r by z cos phi is equal to r by z idu da 1 irukum that is your resistive load that is your resistive load remember this now first of all we are going to find your capacitance capacitance formula paakla capacitance relation anad omega c right so xl is equal to omega c so in a relation to when you are discussing about that it is your unity that means omega l is equal to 1 by omega c omega l is equal to 1 by omega c so in this relation so inge vand inductor value kuduthirukangala okay so they have given the circuit in this circuit so they have given the inductor value and display here so circuit lo inductor value kuduthirukanga inductor is 200 milli henry capacitance value we need to find resistor and the 10 ohms so from this relation so one by one we'll see so capacitance so xl is equal to xc remember it is here xl is equal to xc reason condition la the power factor cos phi is equal to 1 ohm so from this relation so xl is nothing but your omega l which is equal to 1 by omega c so omega is equal to inge vand omega c da na find out pannu c da find out pannu omega c is equal to your omega l so omega c is equal to 1 by omega square and solum bodu 2 pi f whole square into l 2 pi f whole square into l okay so 2 pi so it is your 2 into pi into f is your frequency so on the frequency kuduthirukanga which is your 100 per second okay so they have given the frequency all right so try to find the relation so in the 2 pi f it is nothing but your omega relation so it is nothing but your omega omega already kuduthirukanga omega already kuduthirukanga so try to find the relation for c so c is equal to 1 by omega square l c is equal to 1 by omega square l so capacitance find out pannunga so then after finding the capacitance we are going to find the quality factor quality factor formula on the q is equal to 1 by r root of l by c q is equal to 1 by r root of l by c 1 by r root of l by c so after that you are going to find the power so power average is equal to power average is equal to average dissipated in resonant circuit and solra dissipated in resonant circuit so we'll see the relations so power average is equal to just remember it is vrms square 
So VRMS square is 50 ohms. Given the voltage already put the voltage on they have given us 50 volts. So VRMS square that is nothing but your supply voltage. Okay. And after that, we are going to find your power and your resistor VRMS by R. So try to find the power. So first capacitance, quality factor, and power. Try to do it. Sir, okay, ma. So power we'll see. Okay, ma. So power is 250 watts. Power correct, ma. Power is 250 watts. And what is the capacitance value? C. What is the value of capacitor? And what is the value of quality factor? Try to find it. So what is the value of capacitor? Ma? It is 1 by omega square L and quality factor on the 1 by R root L by C. So you can calculate the relations theory. You can do it calculator. You can do faster move. So after that, uh, now actually share it. From that, you can solve it. No issue. Okay, so answers note panic on capacitor value. So then we'll see the next question. Capacitor value on it is 0 0.25 millifarad. 0 0.5 millifarad. Capacitance value on the 0 0.5 millifarad. Okay. And uh, unga, Q factor value on the it is two. Q factor value on the it is two. These are your answers. Not panic on answers. So C is equal to 0 0.5 millifarad and Q is equal to two. So answers not panty, you can solve it later. Now. So we'll see the next question. We'll see the next question. Not panting la. Okay, so we'll see the next question. In the next question on the display panel, just see that. This is the next question. So question number 54. 
question number 54 note pannikonga so here in this question so avanga vandu voltage kuduthirukanga so they have given the voltage so supply voltage remember it is nothing but your erms supply voltage kuduthirukanga variable frequency ac source is connected to a series combination so series combination inductor capacitor and resistor in the rlc circuit angular frequency of the source remember angular frequency of the source when current is maximum current maximum epo irukona omega r case la irukum so omega r formula vandu 1 by root l so we are going to find omega r at this condition only current maximum this is the quality factor relation so omega r na find out pannu next next one we are going to find the current the current amplitude of the resonant current amplitude so current amplitude na we are going to find i not i not is equal to e not by r remember i not is equal to e not by r inge vandu erms pannadha nu theriyum e not theriyadu so e not is not equal to root 2 erms e not is not equal to root 2 erms by r so we are got the relation now power dissipated so power dissipated and the resistance based on that na discuss pandren so erms square by r this is your power so try to find the relations one by one One by twenty, sir. W R. Ah, uh, how much, ma? What's the answer? One by twenty, sir. One by twenty. The uh, one by twenty. Hmm. Solve for me, sir. Lenga. Omega R. Omega R is your fifty radians per second. Your fifty radians per second. Omega R. Current I not value on the seven point zero seven. Current I not value on the seven point zero seven amps. And the power on the it is your thousand watts. Let's check one again. Power is your thousand watts. Omega on the one by root L C. So we will get fifty radians per second. Fifty radians per second. நோட் பண்ணிங்களா என்ன சான்சஸ் நோட் பண்ணிக்கோங்க தென் வெல் சி தி நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் எஸ் சார் ஓகே ஃபைன் சோ வெல் சி தி நெக்ஸ்ட் क्वेश्चन நெக்ஸ்ட் क्वेश्चन நான் இது வந்து கிளியர் பண்ணிட்டேன் எஸ் 55 நெக்ஸ்ட் क्वेश्चन 55 நோட் பண்ணிக்கோங்க சோ நீங்க வந்து क्वेश्चन ஜஸ்ட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் பண்ணிட்டு ஜஸ்ட் டேக் தி இன்புட் டேட்டா okay so here the question the sinusoidal voltage of peak value so they have given the sinusoidal voltage of peak value peak value kuduthirukanga idu vandu your e not remember rms kadaya they have given the peak value e not kuduthirukanga frequency f kuduthirukanga it is your frequency f omega oda readings vandu radians per second unit vandu radians per second this is a frequency in hertz applied to the lcr circuit in the following so resistor kuduthirukanga inductor kuduthirukanga capacitor kuduthirukanga find impedance of the circuit impedance on the we need to find z we are going to find the impedance of the circuit okay so z we need to find and same as phase difference between the voltage and the source phase difference na find out pannu and after that the power dissipated in the circuit so we are going to find the power and the power factor now relations one by one pakla in the rlc circuit nala impedance value z is equal to square root of r square plus it is xl minus xc whole square this is your impedance next on the phase difference on the to find the phase difference that is nothing but your tan phi tan phi is equal to your voltage formula is pannala illana vandu unga impedance formula so it is xl minus xc by r 
okay it is xl minus xc by r so now we got tan 5 so tan 5 value na kuduthiren because it is your power terms ungalku problems la almost decrease kuduthiruvanga ma so the tan 5 relation is 30 53.1 degrees remember tan 5 value is 53.1 degrees you can check it phi value da na kuduthiren okay so phi value is 53.1 degree now after that irms we are going to find irms vand the irms what is source and the currents okay so irms vand it is your i not by root 2 irms vand i not by two, root 2 ena vand from that only we have to find the power so power formula p is equal to p is equal to i rms square into r p is equal to i rms square into r so ena vand irms enak theriyadu so we only know e not here so power formula i'll take the irms irms square into r so enak vand irms square venumna so i'm going to find the relation irms square is equal to i not by root 2 that is your i not by root 2 in the i not is nothing but i'll write the relation in terms of your e not which is equal to e not by root 2 into r e not by root 2 into r this is nothing but your irms okay so enak vand irms therinja we can able to find the power so phi value i already given you it is 53.1 find the impedance then after that we are going to find the power factor power factor always remember it is nothing but your cos phi so phi value on the it is 53.1 degree so 53.1 degree cos 53.1 degree is nothing but your 0.6 problems la ungalku vandha almost kuduthiruvanga so when we are discussing about the previous question papers appo vandu konje clarity undu so they will give the values okay so this is your power factor let's take it up Yes, ma. What is the value of impedance Z? Z is nothing but your square root of R square plus X L minus X C whole square. What is the value of Z? So, in here on the X L X C, you can find out for now. At the front, the Z is find out for now. Got the answer, others. What is the value of Z? First, X L X C values. So, then you compare it with that. Check it with that. Then we'll see. So, X L is your eight ohms. X L will get us eight ohms. So, I'll display here. So, X L is your eight ohms. X L is equal to eight ohms, and X C is equal to you will get around uh, four ohms. Four ohms. Current I is one three three four six point six. Ah, no ma. Current is forty ohms. Current is forty ohms, brother. So X L will say X L is equal to two pi F L. X C is equal to one by two pi F C. So if you do that, you will get the eight ohms and four ohms. Four ohms. Okay. Now, so current problem. So to find the current, to find the current, that a relation on the, the relation on the. Okay. So to find the current, the formula is I R M S square is equal. I R M S is equal to I naught by root two and so on. So I naught value, I think that is another I naught by. Root two into R, so I naught is equal to E naught by R. So E naught value we know that E naught is nothing but your two eighty three divided by R value is five, and one by root two is nothing but zero point seven zero seven. Okay, so when you value it, I R M S is the forty amps for it, ma. I R M S is the forty amps for it. 
So 283 divided by 5 into 0 0.707. 5 IRMS on the 40 amps. So then find the power. Power is equal to IRMS square into R. Power is equal to IRMS square into R. Suppose if you want to find, so current director, you can find out Panamodina. So IRMS formula is a subsheet point to try to find it. So IRMS square is nothing but your E naught by root 2 R whole square into R. So you can do like this also to find the power. Okay. IRMS on the 40 amps and power on the will get around 4800 watts. R is equal to 3R. One second, ma. Maybe. Yes, ma. Sorry. R is equal to 3. Yes, yes. R is equal to 3. So maybe printing mistake. No? Okay. We will check one by one. So I'll do the calculation part. So it is uh, E0. E0 is nothing but 283. 283 divided by 3 into 0 0.707. Yes, ma. Uh, e Shweta, current correct. Da. Maybe a little printing mistake. Current one, you will get around 66.6 amps. Current one, 66.6 amps. Current on the 66.6 amps. And uh, power on the power on the power is your power is one. 3, 3. So 13,306 watts are 13.3 kilowatts. Power is 13.3 kilowatts. Okay. Z is equal to 5. Yes, ma'am. Z is equal to 5. So we are taking the resistor itself directly. Okay, so these are your answers. Okay, so we'll see the next one. So answers what to note for that resistor, the values are current on the 66.6 amps and the power is 13.3 kilowatts. 13.3 kilowatts. Okay, so done. Just take the value. Okay, so let's see the next question. Right, just take this first question. First question on Panikon. So here in this question, a two microfarad capacitor, 100 ohms resistor, and eight Henry inductor are connected in series. So RLC series connection done. So with the AC source, what should be the frequency of the source such that current drawn in the circuit is maximum? So here the current is maximum. We are going to find the frequency. Okay. So we call it as a resonant frequency. Remember, this is your resonant frequency. The formula for resonant frequency, the condition is nothing but XL is equal to XC. Okay. Angular frequency, angular resonant frequency, F for final point. Okay. For the AC source. Now XL is equal to XC. Now omega R is equal to one by your root LC and FR is equal to 1 by 2 pi root LC. This is your formula. 
this is your relation okay and after that if the peak value of emf of the source is 200 volts find the maximum current if the peak value of emf is 200 volts find the maximum so emf value peak voltage peak voltage e naught is 200 e naught is 200 we are going to find maximum voltage maximum voltage low the resistor will be there xl xc rendu same i is equal to e naught by r so that is your maximum voltage now i naught i naught is equal to e naught by r and in this condition you have the pi value data which come no need to convert this one. okay so i'll give the options also so for the frequency f is equal to frequency f is equal to so 150 pi comma current i is nothing but your 10 amps so option b it is 125 pi 125 pi comma so the current is 5 amps c it is 150 by pi comma your option is 2 amps and fourth one d it is 125 by pi comma 2 amps so these are your options 150 by pi 10 125 by 5 and 150 by pi comma 2 and fourth one is 125 pi comma 2 amps these are your options try to find the frequency in terms of pi itself and the current we are going to find it the current try to do it Current is 2 amps now, super. Current is 2 amps now. So, what about the frequency? Current on the 2 amps now. Is it over? What is the frequency value? What is the answer, man? So, on the pi value change, pana diye. So, pi value base pane sole man. Mm, what tough it is, man. Okay. So, now I want to do this. So, let's see the relation. So, here, if you see that, we are going to find the resonant frequency and sole ekong. So fr is equal to 1 by 2 pi root lc so fr is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root l value on the it is nothing but your 8 henry into the capacitor is 2 into 10 power minus 6 okay so it is nothing but 1 by 2 pi it is square root of 8 8 and so the 8 to the 16 it is 4 into 10 power minus 6 so power 1 by 2 it is 10 power minus 3 okay so it is 10 power minus 3 and it is shifted to the upward direction it is 10 power 3 and it is 8 pi so 1 by 8 when you do it so it is nothing but 0 0.125 to 10 power 3 so the answer is 125 by pi so the answer is 125 by pi it is your resonant frequency so answer not money answer is 125 by pi take it down
I have taken this one. Okay, fine. So answers on the save panicum, then we'll discuss about the next problem. Or problem path, then we'll stop it. So problems on the rumba important and the practice panga. Easier there are concepts. Problems when you practice but start on AC and EM. And either already now share panel getting on the pondering learn theory just practice panel questions. Okay. Just take the third question. Take the third question. A capacitor of unknown capacitance, a resistance of 100 ohms, and an inductor of self inductance L is equal to 4 by pi square Henry are connected in series across an AC source of 200 volts 50 hertz. Calculate the value of the capacitance and current that flows in the circuit when the current is in the phase with the voltage. Okay, we are going to find the capacitance and we are going to find the current passing through the circuit. So take it down. Question. Question not Panikoma. So here the relation is they have given the capacitor is unknown, the resistance is 100 ohms, AC circuit 200 volts, calculate the value of the capacitor current flows that flows in the circuit when the current is in phase with the voltage. So current on the in phase with the voltage. Remember in phase with the voltage as well. In phase with the voltage now. So that is the condition is XL is equal to XC. XL is equal to XC. Remember this relation. So it is your resonant condition. It is under your resonant condition. So in this resonant condition, so XL is nothing but your omega L and X is nothing but your 1 by omega C. So from this relation, now on the capacitance find out. So what I'll do, so C is equal to, C is equal to, it is 1 by omega square L. I'll write this relation, C is equal to omega square L. Omega square L value already theorem, that is nothing but omega is nothing but your 2 pi F whole square into L. L that is a 4 by pi square. L value is 4 by pi square. So in this relation, try to find the capacitor. Okay. And after that, in given the XL is equal to XC na inductance, impedance, resistor into same na. The formula is IRMS square. So they have asked you the current in the phase. So we are going to find the IRMS. IRMS is equal to ERMS by Z R ERMS by R. You know, on the XL is equal to X. So try to find the capacitance and try to find the IRMS. Do it. Ah, what is the answer for capacitor? Now, what is the answer for capacitor? So, 
C is equal to six point two five. इल्लमा C six point two five कड़ियाँ दरा. Check पनी कोंग. So C is equal to it is one by omega square L and solid again. One by omega square now it is two pi f whole square into L. So it is nothing but one by it is a four pi square f square into L on the four by pi square. So pi square pi square will get cancelled. So from this relation, so four by pi square it is one by it is one by it is uh, four four sixteen uh, sixteen and the frequency on the fifty hertz and kurtir kanga dada. Question like it is your fifty hertz. Yeah, five zero. Zero point zero six sir. Ah, uh, illa ma. Adi kadiya the. So it is fifty square. So fifty square. Ningi yon the calculate panenge fifty square into sixteen. You will get the answer. Answer and the approximate you will get around twenty five microfarad varuma. Twenty five microfarad. Around and the twenty five microfarad varu. Check panenge kong ke pasta. And IRMS on the ERMS by R, R ERMS by Z. ERMS on the 200 volts could be given, and resistor on the 100 ohms. So current on the 2 amps. Current on the 2 amps. So these are your values. 25 microfarad. This is 2 amps. Question note, pani kumma. Answer note, pani kumma. Come to it later. Two point five into ten to the power five minus five was sir. Ah, uh, correct ma. Two point five into ten to the power minus five. अपनी सोल ला twenty five into ten to the power minus six सन सोला. रेंडु करेक्ट था. आदर्श कुछ नोट पनी कोंगे दे. Right. So problems on the simple relations are more. Kunchu practice panna kunchu easy idea wala ba. Okay. So idik mela na ondu na stretch panta na ma complete panna mudiyada. Okay. I'll stop here. So next we'll see your ray optics. We'll see your ray optics. So ray optics on the simple concept da. Idila ondu there are two things are there. Niga ondu mirror pati niga already parchir kenge. So first of all on the surfaces pati discuss panna the then your lenses pati discuss panna. So there are two things are there. And remember optics lo ansalam mudu. Your optics lo ande ray optics, wave optics, rende important topics are. Rende ande important topics are. You have to remember those things. Okay. So first of all, we'll start your optics. So optics lo we are going to discuss about your ray optics. Okay. So ray optics lo ande ille na content irko ordera paakla. So na ande romma detaila po mathe na ande problems, adora concepts da important. Derivations the vel da. So I'll discuss about your concepts, ray optics and as well as wave optics. First content in na ethin paakla. So ray optics. Ray optics. Like you are going to discuss about the first case. You are going to discuss. Which mute? Did you switch mute? Panna ma. Yes. So first one you are going to discuss about the law of reflection. So law of reflection, and second one you are going to discuss about the law of refraction. Law of refraction. law of refraction law of reflection and law of refraction these are the two things okay and after that ni and the reflection la discuss panna poringa reflection la undu you are going to discuss about the spherical surfaces so spherical surfaces pathi ni discuss pandreenga idhula undu spherical surface la ray diagrams irukke ray diagrams venda and the ray diagrams na sheet undu na share pandren the ray diagrams romba important the same thing ni undu class 10th la padichirpinga adhe ray diagrams so thirumbi undu class 12th la spherical surfaces oda ray diagrams remember that And the spherical surfaces are the two things are there: convex circle and as well as concave circle. Okay, so in the spherical surfaces, we draw relations based on it. That now, the lenses are related to it. Now, this is reflection part. Okay, reflection or you have two formulas for it. One is the mirror formula, that is one by f is equal to one by v plus one by u, and magnification formula m is equal to minus v by u, that is equal to it is h two by h one. Same thing, refraction. Now, on this, you are going to discuss about the lenses. We are going to discuss about the lenses. Lenses are the again two types: circle, convex circle, and as well as concave circle. 
So convex concave in the relation space we are going to discuss about the rarer medium and the denser medium. So same thing, mirror surfaces are in the same way, that concept is here. So rarer medium and denser medium. In the base, there are two combinations are there, two relations are there. So rarer medium to denser medium and denser medium to rarer medium. In the two combinations, we are going to discuss about the lens makers formula. Okay, and as well as lens, uh, thin lens formula. The two formulas are the same, but the concepts are different. Thin lens formula. Lens makers formula, thin lens formula. It specifies 1 by f is equal to 1 by b minus 1 by u. After that, you have the total internal reflection part. Total internal reflection is very important. Okay, glass lab. So, glass lab. This is the glass lab. You have the principle of reversibility and so on. That's the concept is important. Okay, and after that, you are going to discuss about the slab. Uh, apparent height, apparent depth and so on. That's the concept. Apparent depth and real depth. That's the concept. Okay. And after that, you are going to discuss about the Snell's law. Snell's law. So, Snell's law, we are going to discuss about the refract index. Okay. This is all the basic terms. That's why you have the rarer to denser concept. So, there is one more thing called prism. Okay. After that, microscope. Microscope is the simple microscope and telescope. Two terms are Simple microscope and telescope. Okay, and after that, you are going to discuss about the uh, telescope. So, telescope is the opposite to the microscope. Only. So, microscope is simple and compound. And telescope, lo, again, you are going to discuss about the opposite term to the microscope itself. So, if you have the microscope clear up, the telescope is the opposite. That's the relations to members. Okay, so these are your teams. This is the very important concepts on the microscope term, prism, and after that, you are rarer to denser concepts and you are Snell's law. So, this is the very important problems on the base. So, this is your basic structure. Okay. Now, way optics based on the way optics, there are three concepts. You are going to study about the Young's double slit experiment. Young's double slit experiment. In the double slit experiment, there are two types. So, one interference patterns uncertain. You can discuss one. Second one, you are going to discuss about the fringes. Bits based on discuss one. Okay. This is the first case. Second case, you are going to discuss about the diffraction. So diffraction based on single lens based on you the deflect waves and certain discuss Third one, you are going to discuss about the polarization. Polarization. This is the moon and moon concept. This is easy though. But ray optics, you will get some questions. So the lens on the red lenses come in panel the power formula, other relations. They have to discuss. So this is very important. Just go through that. And now the worksheets and I share panel again, just practice panel. This is related once now complete panel on the related document I share panel. So we'll see that. We'll start from your ray optics. Ray optics. Make a heading ray optics. So in that, first of all, we'll discuss about the loss of reflection. Loss of reflection. So loss of reflection. So we are going to discuss about your mirrors. Reflection only it is related to your mirrors. So loss of reflection, it is applicable to mirrors. That is your plane mirror or your spherical mirror. applicable. Plane mirror or spherical mirror. Plane mirror or spherical mirror. Now, first one, plane mirror bakla. So when we are discussing about the mirrors, nala one on the virtual image on and as well as a real image and solitaire. Virtual image and solitaire, real image and solitaire. So in the render concept based on the mirrors are combination. Now we'll discuss about that. First of all, I'll take a plane mirror. First of all, we'll see the loss of reflection. What is it? So what I'll do, I'll take a plane mirror or a plane mirror at the so, plane mirror ke always remember or normal line. So, the normal line will be always perpendicular to the surface. That is, your normal line is always perpendicular to the surface. What I'll do? I'll take a normal line. So, either one the perpendicular line always remember this. In the plane surface. In the plane surface, lo, normal line is the refracting surface. Reflecting surface based on the one side of the reflecting arco, in our side of the coated red, red color is nothing but your coating here. So, silver coating here. Mirror. So, I it is your coating. Now, at one particular point, one point on the what I'll do, I'll take a source. One point lo, I'll take a source or laser pointer. So in the laser pointer, what I'll do, or source or a particular point on the I'll try to project. Or line on the or ray, I'll try to project. So it is reflecting on the surface. Okay, so either on the project another what will happen, it will try to reflect and the reflect backward direction, the every measure pantrona with respect to normal line. So what are the ray it was passing? So source on the or ray were the we call it as incident ray. Source nandu or ray varad, we call it as incident ray. We call it as incident ray. And the reflect backward direction are getting. Okay? So reflect agra ray on the we call it as reflected ray. So we call it as reflected ray. 
and angle on the with respect to normal point with respect to normal it was making some angle and the angle we call it as incident angle it is your eye and there is one more angle we call it as reflected angle so for the plane mirror for the plane mirror there are two points are there first point so with respect to the plane surface plane mirror angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection second case so normal incident ray reflected ray all are in the same plane so ella on the same plane lo da irukum so it was deviated and solum bodu so we won't get this type of incident and reflection rays same okay so these are your two points we call it as loss of reflection this is nothing but your reflection law okay now so when you are discussing about the reflected law remember one thing inge vande when the object was forming when the object was forming okay within the mirror and away from the mirror that is your behind the mirror and as well as object unga image rend same direction irukku there are two things are there so and the things vandu nama vandu convert pandrathu and the conversion nama discuss pandrathu cartesian sign conversion as well cartesian sign conversions in the cartesian sign conversions based pani the problems oda sign conversion that is your positive and negative ones to identify pani adu adu eppadi irukuna so cartesian sign conversion so assume i'm taking a plane mirror assume i'm taking a plane mirror or you can spherical eduthikalam almost same so object vandu remember idu vandu front of the mirror in front of the mirror so idu vandu front portion okay and it is your behind the mirror okay and it is your behind the mirror okay so behind the mirror everything it was depends from the point the point where the mirror and the principal axis idu dhaan principal axis nu solrom so principal axis and the mirror oda point inge meet aagirukku and the point we got as pole okay suppose ipo na enna pandrena i am placing an object or object vandu na in front of the mirror place pandren object vandu in front of the mirror na place pandren this is your object object to the pole object to the pole the distance is u okay suppose image vandu behind the mirror form aagirukku image is behind the mirror so object to the pole to the image the distance we call as b pole to the image the distance we call as b okay so this spherical irumbodu na solra first of all idu nam discuss panna suppose if it is in front of the mirror suppose if it is in front of the mirror so idu na distances vandu nam pole nadu da discuss panna when we are discussing from the pole okay the distance will be always negative so in front of the pole ellame vandu negative a irukum behind the mirror okay it will be always positive okay or else ninga vandu ipdi specify panikonga so from the pole when we are discussing towards your left side always negative when we are discussing towards your right side always positive always positive okay now we will see the conversion suppose in the object vandu or particular height irukku okay or object vandu or particular height irukku height vandu when it is moving upward direction height vandu upward direction irukku upward direction irukkum bodu we will specify it as positive okay adhe downward direction irukkum bodu we will specify it as negative this are nothing but your sign conversions in the four points important left side negative right side positive height upwards positive downwards negative okay so idu base pani da conversions irukku now we'll see that object und object oda distance und it is u image oda distance und it is b adra object oda height und it is your h1 image oda height und it is your h2 inda naal terms irukku for the plane mirror now so ipo paakum bodu so from the mirror so the image was the object was in front of the mirror so it is negative because it is on the left side and the image on it is behind the mirror so it is towards your right it is positive height and solum bodu height was upward direction so it is positive so height h2 was downward direction it is negative so these are your sign conversions problems la undu the sign conversions are very important okay sign conversions based on the problems to solve on okay it is with respect to your plane mirror remember idu vandu plane mirror based panni da na discuss panna plane mirror based panni da discuss panna okay and plane mirror lo remember plane mirror lo so the image was forming behind the mirror itself so we call it as virtual image so plane mirror lo we will specify it as virtual image okay virtual image eppadi form aguna so remember behind the mirror eppadi irukumo eppovum behind mirror it is a virtual image behind mirror it is an imaginary image okay virtual image behind the mirror we call it as imaginary and a real image it is in front of the mirror okay real image it is your in front of the mirror okay real image virtual image this is your plane mirror remember that it is the plane mirror concept okay so you memorize panikonga and next one we will see the spherical okay idu note panikonga i'll save it if it is done please let me know then we will see the spherical 
கொஞ்சம் ஃபாஸ்டா இருங்கம்மா தெர் ஆர் சோ மெனி திங்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் then others okay so what about others now on the screen share screenshot share panta okay once we complete our class i'll delete it next one we'll see the spherical mirrors next one we'll see the spherical mirrors spherical mirrors so in the spherical mirrors la the spherical mirrors la so there are two things are there convex irukka concave irukka convex irukka concave irukka okay so convex so remember concave and it is forming your real image it on the ray diagrams lo da ninga specify panna mudiyum ray diagrams lo clear a irukum i'll share the screenshot to you ray diagrams ellame so namba ellame discuss panna rathu konjam difficult or table column base panni da ray diagrams if you have any doubts i'll explain in next class real image and virtual image okay so, remember for the mirrors concave epovume real image irukum and for convex it is your virtual image adu eppadi irukum pa so to go to that so now on the convex concave adoda actual condition diagram separate irukum paaka first i'll take the uh, concave so this is your concave mirror okay so concave mirror concave mirror vandu idoda projection vandu it was like curved surface projection vandu curved surface a irukum it is curved inside madri so like this idu vandu it is your coated area this is your coated area now it is your concave mirror now so i'll draw a principal axis for this for this concave mirror i'll draw a principal axis principal axis ekkadi irukuma it will be at the center always remember the principal axis it is at the center like this so it is your principal axis now principal axis irukku and there is a pole so in the center la vandu we got a pole okay so it is your principal axis okay remember in the diagrams na edukku draw pandrena problems la varumbodhu ungalku diagram based questions irukku and as well as theory based questions irukku theory irukumbodhu you have to understand the picture now is the principal axis so for this principal axis what i'll do i'm placing an object and before that in the spherical surface and solum na vandu complete our spherical surface la na form pandren suppose in the concave vandu na spherical surface la form pannumbodhu so there will be having some center of curvature இதுக்கு சென்டர் பாயிண்ட் இருக்கும் வி கால்ட் அ சென்டர் ஆஃப் கர்வேச்சர் and இதுக்கு வந்து சென்டர் ஆஃப் கர்வேச்சர்னு சொல்லும்போது தேர் will be having some radius we call it as radius of curvature and there is a focus so radius of curvature க்கு half இருக்கும் we call it as focus so focus is equal to remember focus is equal to radius of curvature by focus is equal to radius of curvature by 2 and other distance இருக்கு focus வந்து போலுக்கு the distance we call it as focal length இது capital f னு சொல்லுங்க இது focal length வந்து small so focal length so focal length is nothing but your radius of curvature by so focus inge irukuna half of the center to the center of curvature now focal length is nothing but your radius of radius by 2 so what i'll do i'll place an object now on the object place pandra so a particular height idu h1 anukre i'm placing an object at o point okay now o point to the pole the distance is nothing but your u o point to the pole the distance is nothing but your u suppose either image eppadi form aaguna suppose if the image is forming adukku ray diagrams na draw pandren idu da na ray diagrams neenga vandu memorize panikonga sonna ray diagrams ku na screenshots na share pandren suppose when i am allowing a ray passing to it so because of the reflection with respect to the normal line normal line eppovume vandu remember normal line eppovume vandu center of curvature based panadhu so always perpendicular to the surface normal line on the center of curvature based on the travel of one okay so when the image was forming at the focus when the image was forming at the focus so a reflection or ray on the when it is forming at the focus so we call it as a real image focus kita meet agra rays ella on the we call it as real image and the real image on the only concave la mattum la irukku so this is your concave okay so it is your ob- image was forming at the focus now idhe vand cartesian sign conversions paakku cartesian sign conversions base panni paakumbodhu ellame vand left side da irukku remember from the pole all are towards your left side so right side edhume kedaiyadhu so idoda relations paakumbodhu so idoda object distance vand u okay object oda distance from the pole is u so it is negative because it is your left side image distance vand it is also v which is negative because it is your left side adara height base panni paakom for the object because it is moving upward direction upward direction irukadana h1 and the positive and adara radius center of curvature radius vandu radius of curvature vandu it is your negative minus sign okay so and adara focal length again it is nothing but your left side it is minus minus f so focal length vandu minus r by 2 
Okay, so left side here terms all on the negative are good. Remember that left side here terms all negative are good. Height based on it, either on the upward direction or downward direction based on the height. So this is your Cartesian sign conditions for spherical mirror or concave. Right? So the memory is on it, either based on the problems are good. Now next one, your convex. I'll take a convex surface. So I'll see the convex surface. Now, so there is a convex surface. The reflecting surface based on it, I'm placing the object. Now, uh, they will be having some principal axis. So, either half or center, they will be having some principal axis. This is nothing but your principal axis. So, it is nothing but your principal axis. Again, either the pole, so this is nothing but your pole point. Okay, it is your principal axis. Okay, so for this, what I'll do, I'll place an object. Either now on the object, I'll place one. I'm placing an object. So in the mirror, so either on the front view, remember, in the concave on the, it is your front view. So it is your front view and it is your behind the mirror. Okay, so it is your behind the mirror. So in the, now in the, in the spherical surface, when we are taking a full spherical, so there will be having some center of curvature. So assume this is your center of curvature. If you have the focus, either the length from the point is nothing but your focal length and pole and the distance only it is nothing but your radius of curvature. Now if you see that, what are the radius of curvature, focal length is on the right side and object now place under the towards your left side. So either height on the I'll take it as H1, it is nothing but your object. So object and the pole with the distance I'll take it as U. Now so I'll allow some Images so now the rays now the allow under when I'm allowing the rays so now the blue color lines are there. so I'll allow a ray so now the straight line now the ray allow under parallel to the principal axis always remember or ray pass from the parallel to the principal axis now this is a normal line always remember normal line is put from the center of curvature normal line is put from the center of curvature based on the draw so this is your normal line this is normal line is okay. So normal line when it is reflecting backward direction, it is pretty reflect eye trick now. It is the reflect eye trick, remember, it is a reflect eye trick, but either a trace of points only it was meeting at the focus. It was trying to reflect. So again, instant angle, reflect eye angle, render same eye, i.e. are render same eye. But it is the virtual image, and it is reflect eye trick. But when you draw the trace of points, it was meeting at the focus. And the trace of points are meeting at the focus. This is nothing but your virtual. This is nothing but our virtual. So image on the when it is forming behind the mirror, we call it as a virtual image. Okay. And the tracer point the it is nothing but virtual formation. Now either a sign convention spot. So object on the it is forming your left side. I'll take this minus u. Okay. So I'll take this minus u. Image on the it is forming. Image or distance on the it is forming within the mirror. So it is your plus v. You know, on the right side on the. And focus on the always it is right side plus R by 2 and your center of curvature plus R because it is your right side. Okay. So and height on the suppose depends upon the height. Suppose it is in the upward direction it is plus. If it is downward direction it is minus. So in your the height for the object height only it is plus H. Okay. So these are your sign conventions for convex. It is your convex. Convex on the remember convex epoma on the virtual image, concave epoma on the real image. Depends upon your distances. Okay, other memories. And normal and epoma and center of curvature based on the drop on it. Where incident angular, reflector angular, measure on it. Okay, so these are your mirrors. No panicum. So if you can able to understand, it's fine. Either a doubt is not, please let me know. Now on the faster the move under sign conventions are more important. I like the conventions either could occur now, either based on the problems. Not panic on Is it related or a screenshot now share pan for the ray diagrams for the convex and as well as concave? Is the nigga on the padachita no see the base panel questions for the one? You already need a class set of padachi topic. Okay, so note it down. I will share your screenshot now itself. Is it over? Other, please respond. Ma, not panting na, not panikong. Ille na, not panikong. Uh, or else now on the already screenshot shape on here, just go through it. Okay, others?
okay so i'll save it i'm just deleting it you can note pointing now it's fine rs i'll send you the screenshots yes ma'am. okay fine so i'll delete it so next one we'll see some formulas so in the base one is some formulas here i'll give the formulas what are the formulas we are discussing here so first one first one so the spherical mirror so we call it as your focal length so focus kit in a form of the images on the focus kit of form of that is your image other imagination and the focus kit of form of that is your virtual image so focal length we call it a small f as focal length focal length is equal to r by 2 r is nothing but your radius of curvature second one second one mirror formula mirror formula is 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u third one magnification magnification it will be smaller so m is equal to h2 by h1 which is equal to minus v by u minus v by u adhe und with respect to focus and the distances and solum bodu f is equal to f by f minus u which is equal to f minus v by f just remember this formula and fourth one fourth one fourth point real image and virtual image magnification und m remember magnification m und negative irundha magnification formula und suppose when you solve it m negative irundha we call it as real image we call it as real image adhe magnification positive irundha we call it as virtual image we call it as virtual image remember this relations m negative irundha real image m positive irundha virtual image okay and same thing for the focus f okay so f and r so focus f r on the negative i rinda remember f r on the negative i rinda we call it as concave mirror we call it as concave mirror idu munna nam vandu sign idella sign conventions based on the discuss pan same thing f r positive i rinda f r positive i rinda we call it as convex we call it as convex mirror this concave mirror is your convex mirror idu munadi nam discuss panirukom so next one next point so fifth point fifth one for the real object okay so u on the negative i irukum u on the negative i irukum and v on the negative i irukum u on the negative i irukum v on the negative i irukum so we call it as real image we call it as real image okay and u on the positive i irukum and as well as v on the positive i irukum so rendu positive i irukna we call it as virtual image we call it as virtual image remember this relations ओके सो इधर बेस पनी था उनको प्रॉब्लम से लोग नोट पने कौन है इधर इट इस रिलेटेड इन द फॉर्मूलास ना इट इस रिलेटेड टू योर मिरर दैट्स इट इधर बेस पने था ये कौन विल डू ए प्रॉब्लम वन और टू प्रॉब्लम्स पने थे विल गो टू द लेंसेस அண்ட் நான் ஆல்ரெடி ஒரு ஸ்கிரீன்ஷாட் ஷேர் பண்ணிருக்கேன் தட் இஸ் யுவர் ரே டயக்ராம்ஸ் இதே டாபிக்ஸ் தான் உங்களுக்கு கிளாஸ் டென்த்ல வரும் நீங்க கொஞ்சம் அது பிராக்டிஸ் பண்ணுங்க ரொம்ப இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் நோட் பண்ணிட்டீங்களா அதர்ஸ் நான் வந்து ஒருத்தர் ரெண்டு பேருக்கு ஆக இல்லாம நான் எல்லா பேருக்கு ஏறதா நான் வந்து எழுதிட்டு இருக்கேன் ரொம்ப ஸ்லோவா போயிட்டு இருக்கேன் கிராஷ் கோர்ஸ் இவ்வளவு நான் ஸ்லோவா போக மாட்டேன் நீங்க வந்து எது பிராக்டிஸ் பண்றீங்க ரெஸ்பாண்ட் பண்றீங்கன்னு தான் நான் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கேன் ரைட் ஓகே சோ வில் டூ சம் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ஒன் ஆர் டூ ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் பண்ணலாம் சோ ஐ ரீட் த क्वेश्चन நான் அதுக்கு गिवन டேட்டா கொடுத்துறேன் ஓகே யூ சால்வ் இட் சோ ஐ ரீட் த क्वेश्चन an object is placed i'll read the question an object is placed 10 cm an object is placed 10 cm in front of a concave mirror in front of a concave mirror i'll read the question an object is placed in front of a concave mirror of a radius of radius of curvature 15 cm of radius of curvature 15 cm find the position find the position position nature find the position nature and magnification find the position nature and magnification magnification of the image of the image so i'll repeat again so a object is placed 10 cm in front of a concave mirror of radius of curvature 15 cm find its position nature and magnification position nature and magnification this is your image okay now we'll see the relations so when we are discussing about the magnification magnification ku mattu or chinna relation kuduthiren adu mattu note pannikonga then we'll do the problem 
So when the magnification, remember magnification on the modulus of the plus one, when the magnification value is greater than one, now minus plus the put it When the magnification is greater than one, okay, so we call it as image is magnified. Image on the it is magnified. Image is magnified. Remember this relation. When magnification is less than one, when magnification is less than one, image is diminished. Shrink on a image is diminished. Diminished. Okay, next one magnification is equal to one. Magnification equal to one is the same size. So the size on the difference in America. Same size. So this is your relations. Magnification greater than one, less than one, equal to one. Just remember these relations. Now you see the concept. So in the radius of curvature, which is 15 centimeters, position and nature of magnification find out. So here they have given you the concave mirror. So concave mirror, remember concave mirror low, focus, radius of curvature, object, image, concave mirror, element, the left side, so it is negative. It is negative. So you have to remember that. Now, so radius, radius value another, R is equal to, it is your minus 15 by 2. R is equal to minus 15. R is equal to minus 15. Centimeters. You can meters in the meters. I will see the focal length. Focal length on the, it is r by 2. r value another minus 15 by 2. So it is here minus 7.5 centimeters. So focus is negative. Then. Now we will see your uh, image. So here on the object on the object on the 10 centimeters. u is equal to minus 10 centimeters. u is equal to minus 10 centimeters. So mirror formula based on we are going to find the v. So formula another 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by v. So what I'll do, I'll write it as 1 by V is equal to 1 by F minus 1 by U. I'll substitute the formulas. So F value another minus 0 0.75 minus U value another minus 10 centimeters. So try to find in your minus minus in the plus side. Huh? So 1 by 10 minus 1 by 0 0.75. So try to find V from this relation. Now on the V find out Panada Gaprama. This is your uh, image or position. Okay, and image or distance find out Panada. Next one, magnification. If you find out the problem, magnification find out the M is equal to minus V by U. M is equal to minus V by U. So with this, we can able to find the magnification and your distance. Try to find V first. Minus 1.2 as a 1 by V. Uh, 1 by V is minus 1.2. Uh, 1 by V is minus 1 by 30. Minus 1 by 30. So V is minus 30. Varu. Minus 30 centimeters of V. So check just cross multiply. Pannan. 1 by 10 minus 1 by 0 0.5. So then our cross multiply for 0 0.75 minus 10 by 10 over. So this is 1 by 30 and so on. This is the fraction of the very number. So 0 0.75 minus 10, and you have the value on the minus level. Just check the V value on the minus 30. M is minus 3. Okay, check the number. So V minus 30 correct, M is minus 3 correct. Correct. M is minus 3. So V on the minus 30. So what I'll do, I'll substitute here. So minus of minus 30 and U value on the it is minus 10. So in here on the minus minus cancel out. So it is minus 3. Magnification on the minus 3. That means so in a meaning now. So in here on the negative, we already normally so it is the point slow. So V negative, U negative on so we call it as a real image. So it is your real image. Okay, so magnification on the minus one. Magnification of minus one. 
So minus negative on solomodi, it is nothing but your real. Okay. And height based on the park modi the reverse layer canal, we can say it was inverted. Okay, reverse layer canal, height on the inverted layer. This is your position, image, and size. Okay. Right. So, this concept is just not to make the relations. This concept is so now only the kunadi u on the 10 centimeters. So, I told you u is nothing but your 10 centimeters. Now, just take this value instead of u as 10. So, take u as 15 centimeters. u on the 15 centimeters. Again, try to find b and try to find the magnification. So, same process. So, in the u on the 15, I will say try to do it. Okay, so it is not in the card. So you as 15 centimeters. Okay, just take this. So focus on 7.5 centimeters and uh, V now find out. So the formula is 1 by F is equal to 1 by V plus 1 by U. 1 by v is equal to 1 by f minus 1 by u. So u on the negative. So it is 1 by f is minus, it is nothing but minus 7.5 minus of minus plus 1 by 15. So it is 1 by 15 minus 1 by 7.5. So is equal to. LCM panel, I will take test two times. I will take test 15 here. So it is 1 minus 2 by 15. So it is minus 1 by 15. So V is equal to minus 15 centimeters. V is equal to minus 15 centimeters. Yeah, ma. Yes, ma. minus 15. Ma. V is minus 15. And magnification of the minus V by U. So it is minus V, minus of minus 15 divided by U value on the minus 15. So minus minus will get cancelled. So magnification is nothing but m is equal to minus one. M is equal to minus one. This is your answer. So the size on the same size are size on the same size are minus it is your real and inverted. So reverse layer, it is your inverted and real size on the same size. Magnify or diminish. This is your answer. Or okay, so I'll delete it. So now we'll see your law of refraction. So law of refraction. So in the law of refraction, other Roma concepts, mirror on the other, and the formulas memorize panicum are the base panic problems. Law of refraction. So law of refraction though, so when the light ray passes from one medium to other medium, when the light ray passes from one medium to other medium, it will try to bend. Okay, so it will try to bend. So when it is passing, it will try to bend. So what I'll do, I'll take a glass. Okay, so I'll take a glass. Okay, so there is a thick glass in solution now. So when you're taking a glass, either one the denser medium solution. And the density of the glass, we call it as denser. Okay. So I'll take this relation like this. So air medium, air medium on the epome rarer medium and sulfur, and the glass medium epome on the denser medium and sulfur. We call it as denser medium. Now, so what I'll do, I'll try to pass a light ray. So a point on the I'll try to pass. It is nothing but your source. Source on the or light ray na pass on the source on the or light ray pass on Okay. So when it is passing, okay, what will happen? Either your reference line here. On the reference line, the your your normal line. So in the reference line, the so you are not going I'll take the reference line like this. Okay. Now, so reference line based on 
reference line base pani so they'll be having some they'll be having some refraction reference line base pani they'll be having some refraction and the refraction eppadi irukuma and the refraction eppadi irukuma remember so when it is in the denser medium remember when it is in the denser medium normal line ku towards normal line irukum so denser medium lo and the refraction vand towards normal line irukum so it will be towards normal line like this it will be towards normal line so actual line vand actual line vand it will be passing like this actual line vand it will be passing like this but because of the medium when it it will try to bend what are the angle it was making so with respect to normal we got as incident angle what are the angle it was making within the denser we got as a refracted angle okay it is your incident angle it is a refracted angle and remember one more thing and the rays pass panum bodu the directions are important rays panum bodu the directions are so much important so these are your rays this is nothing but your uh, law of refraction so within the denser medium or one medium to other medium when the light ray is passing it will try to bend this is nothing but your law of refraction okay now so law of refraction we will see that so when we are refracting the light ray idla vandu rendu points irukku okay so what are the incident ray one point on the first point on the incident ray ref refracted ray and the normal all are in the all are in the same plane lies on the same plane ore or plane based pannadha nam discuss pandrom same surface second point second point the ratios we are going to discuss about the ratios ratios of angle of incidence to the angle of refraction ratios to the angle of incidence to the angle of uh, refraction that is your sin i by sin r sin i by sin r we call it as refractive index so sin i by sin r is nothing but we call it as refractive index so refractive index ku inner formula irukku mu is equal to your speed of light in vacuum remember speed of light in vacuum light in vacuum by speed of light in vacuum by i'll write the relation vacuum by speed of light in medium by speed of light in medium in medium so any medium so it depends so mu is equal to sin i by sin r or speed of light in vacuum by speed of light in medium this is your relation this is nothing but your law of refraction but so there is one more case here so inge vandu number rarer to denser mattum da namba paathirukom suppose adhe vandu and the light ray vandu when it is coming out of it the light ray vandu when it is coming out of it we'll see that so inge enna irukku when the light ray was trying to coming out of it again or normal line So again, there will be hangs of normal line, and the normal line on the alpha line. This is your normal line. So because of the normal line, what will happen? It, again, it will try to come out of it. Okay, I'll keep it here. So it is normal line. So it is your normal line two. I'll take this one. It is normal line one. It is normal line two. So because of the normal line, in that case, in here again, one angle is created. This is nothing but your angle of incidence. Okay, this is nothing but your angle of incidence again. Okay, now only here refraction within the denser medium. I do now only the I one. I take it. The R one. I'll take this one as I two. And within the medium, now let's see. Come on. Within the medium, there is no bending, so I can say it as I two and R one render same. Or refraction the inner medium mode incident up. So again, when it is coming out of it, remember when it is coming out of it, it will be away from the normal line. It will be away from the normal line. So and here we call it as your refraction. I'll take it as R. So now we will see the Snell's law. Snell's law. So what are the law we are discussing here? We call it as Snell's law. So this refractive index we will discuss. So mu is equal to sin i by sin r. Now, so first on the refractive index. Refractive index on the rarer rare medium one and another rare denser medium not two and another. Adhe malle again when it is coming out of it we call it as rarer medium. It is nothing but your one. Okay. Now rarer medium. Rarer medium refractive index mu is equal to the formula is sin i by sin r. But one man will see. So, in here on the rarer medium, rarer to denser. First of all, so rarer to denser. These are relations. You put it here, na. So rarer to denser. So it is rarer to denser. R we can say it as mu R to d. R we can say it as mu denser to rarer. That like this. So there are terms on the in the matter. So rarer one and two ones mentioned. Pan taradu nala. Sometimes some problems. You put here, na. One two R mu one two R mu two. So either a formula on the it is nothing but your mu two by mu one. Remember this one. It is nothing but sine mu two by mu one. I am saying. So in here on the instant and the formula it is rarer to denser sine i one by r one. Sine i one by sine r one. Remember this relation. So either on the terms on the equation or whatever. Now on the all of you on the like come here. So rarer to denser I am saying. We can specify like this or like this or like this. All are same. Now we will see the same thing with respect to your denser to rarer. Denser and the rarer are both i two r two. Apo 
எனக்கு வந்து டென்சிட்டிவர்ஸ் ரேரர் வருதுனால சோ மியூ டென்சிட்டிவ் ரேரர் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு மியூ டென்சிட்டிவ் ரேரர் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு மியூ ஆர் பி சோ ஐ கேன் ரைட் இட் எஸ் மியூ 2 1 is equal to mu 2 1 is equal to mu 1 2 which is equal to sin i2 by sin r2 sin i2 by sin r2 okay so this is nothing but your rare earth tensor which is equal to mu 1 by mu 2 remember this this is nothing but your mu 1 by mu 2 these are your ratios relations now so rare earth tensor tensor to rare it is nothing but your parallel slab so now on the slabs now on the add panite irukum bodu idhe maari poite irukum now if you see that inge vand actual line idu so what are the purple color line irukku adhu da actual line so inge vand actual line ku the refracted line ku there is a distance okay so in the medium vand nam angle of deviation so what are the medium we called as deviation as well this is nothing but actual deviation so we'll discuss about the deviation so idu vand nam in the formula irukku we'll discuss this formula in next class okay ipodukku vand we'll discuss about the rare earth tensor density rare idu note panikonga when you multiply this two, when you multiply this two, that means rare earth tensor into density to rare earth ninge multiply pannum bodu the relations will see so na idukku munadi enna solirken i'll take this one as 1 mu 2 into mu 2 1 so when you multiply it so inge relations edha varumna so for this conditions so it is a sin i i'll write here so r that is your mu 1 2 into mu 2 1 is equal to so the relation is nothing but sin i 1 by sin r 1 into sin i 2 by sin r 2 so now already so like sin i 2 r 1 rendu same a irukku because it is in the denser and rarer medium rendu same a irukku that is i 1 is equal to r 2 so when i 1 is equal to r 2 and i 2 is equal to r 1 rendu me vandu cancel aagum r 1 i 2 and r 2 i 1 so both will get cancel so r1 i2 and r2 i1 both will get cancel here so here r2 i1 i2 r1 will get cancel so it is equal to 1 so this is nothing but your principle of reversibility we call it as a principle of reversibility so that means it is 1 mu 2 is equal to 1 by mu 2 1 remember this relation we call it as principle of reversibility or medium la the inner medium paakum bodu adukku reversible da irukku Okay, remember this principle of reversibility, and in the relation, it is nothing but your parallel slab. Just remember it. If you have the number of slabs, we cannot find it. The number of slabs we cannot find it. Not find it here. So when you are multiplying all the things, it will be one. So this is your relation. If you are saving it, just take it down. Okay. So balance only we will see in the next class. Other than that, we will see the deviation part and the distance only. Our distance is how to measure it depends upon the thickness of the medium and as well as you can do. Uh, and the refraction based on again ray diagram sir ka adana and next class la solra again prism microscope we'll discuss this in some in the formula sir romba important at the end again nam vandu problems paakalam take it down note pannitingla others okay ma so i'll save it and uh, i'll close it okay so balance we'll see next class konjam practice pannunga idu romba important and easiest topic idu okay we'll see next class okay ma'am bye ma'am vandutingla sir yes sir irukka sir okay okay one second